kind of proud of myself here. All right, let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, whoa. Uh-oh. Let's go ahead and bomb this. Bomb the, oh, we broke the screen. Oops. Boom. Yeah. High speed crash time. Oh, that wasn't high speed. Oh. <laughs>Tube Komodo Gaming here bringing you guys another episode of Disassembly 3D and yes folks we are back here in this game you guys seem to enjoy the first episode where we sunk the Titanic now if you missed that episode it's gonna be in the top right corner if you want to check that out and then come back here and watch this episode but yeah you guys really seem to enjoy the game so we're gonna go back in we're gonna destroy a couple more things uh, this is oddly addicting like trying to find all the parts and get the high score and unlock the bomb so we're gonna do that now if you're enjoying this on the channel and you want to see more of it Maybe hit that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments below, but yeah, let's go ahead and pick out another item Hmm, let's see here. We've got an antique car I know I saw that in the comments section and I saw you guys wanted to see the uh, the skyscraper get taken apart Of course, there's the Titanic that we took apart and I got an airplane you got a train the skyscrapers tempting I kind of say, you know, we took it opposite last episode. We started off really small and then we went up to the Titanic. But I think this episode, we're going to start big. And let's go ahead and just look at this skyscraper and see what it's like. Oh, boy. Oh, what the heck? All right. Let's get a good look at this here. Hmm. So it's got 310 parts. I kind of feel like you need to start from the bottom. Some people might start from the top and then go down, but I think if we start from the bottom, we might be able to collapse these buildings. So, let's see where we're going to start here. Oh, this looks absolutely epic from down here. So, what kind of... Oh, are you kidding me? These are the individual parts. Okay, so timer start it. Uh, I feel like there's an easier way to do this. Let's go ahead. Can I just rip into the tower itself? Is that a thing? So if I go click... Oh, oh it is. Okay. Okay, well, let's try to collapse this thing real quick. Oh, uh, this is gonna be awesome once we get the bomb unlocked. Uh oh, why don't that move? There we go. Come on, move. There we go. Smack it against the tower. Take out the tower. All right, there's that piece. There's that piece. That piece. All right, how do the floors? What the heck? All right, we somehow just destroyed like the little connecting lobby. How do these work? Oh, that's what. Uh oh. Hey, hold on. All right, let's grab that again. Uh, come on, you need to grab it. And fling. All right, we're lifting up the whole tower. This is amazing. Uh oh, what just happened? Oh, game just. What the heck? <laughs> we just eliminated half the pieces. Okay, well, we know how to take these down now. All right, let's go ahead and start here. Let's peel this lobby back. Actually, those are going to be a pain in the rear end because those need to be off, apparently. So let's take those off real quick. All right. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, grab that over there. Strip off a couple of these. One of those. This might actually be fairly quick. Kind of proud of myself here. All right, let's go ahead and grab this. Oh! Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Oh, great. We're down to five parts. The question is, which five parts are connected? You know, I want to take this a certain direction here. I know the lobby areas kind of had those little... Actually, are these still connected? Does that count? No? Huh. This is going to be kind of tough, actually. Those aren't connected. One of the best strategies that I found out was actually shaking the parts on the inside. And it seems to loosen everything else. Alright, so we got this big middle chunk here. There we go. Uh, any parts? Come on. Loosen! Alright, all right, we're down to four. Uh, is this part still connected? Three? Uh, two? Or one? It's gotta be this part down here. Gotta be. No? Come on! No, there's still a part somewhere. Oh, there it is! Wow. Huh. Two minutes and 12 seconds. That was way quicker than I thought it was gonna be. That's actually quite amazing. I kinda feel like we can do that even faster, now that I know what to do. But anyways. We have the bomb unlocked, so obviously we gotta play with that real quick. Now where do we want to place the bomb? Let's go... Let's grab the bomb here. Okay, spawn it. Oh! Hey! I wanted to use that! Uh, oh, 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 the game's just absolutely having a fit here. Okay, let's let it settle out. Alright, so we didn't even have to use the bomb here, so let's go ahead and click it. Oh, dear! 
Oh, full speed, full speed. That is so amazing. And there's still a part. What part is it? Is this one? It's gotta be one of the parts on the ground here. Huh. It's kind of upsetting that it explodes the way it does. I kind of wanted to take it apart a little slower. Yeah, I don't see the other part. Let's go ahead and uh, reset it real quick and actually use the bomb. Okay, we gotta catch the bomb before it explodes here. No, 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 no! <gasps> Dang it! <laughs> you don't even need the bomb! Like, the bomb is the weapon here. Like, you don't have to set it off. Oh, wait, what? Where did all that come from? All right, let's, uh, let's try that again. This is gonna happen. I really wish you could manipulate, and what you might be able to, manipulate the bomb before you place it. Like, I'm trying to grab it, and normally lands about right here, so let's go... Actually, we're gonna immediately detonate it. Let's do that. Let's go and get the, uh, get the sunshine view here. Alright, here we go. Bomb, bomb, bomb! Wait! Where did it... Where did it spawn? It must have spawned on the back side of the tower! Oh, 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 you know what? It just explode. Wow. That is beautiful. Alright, speed it up. Pieces! Everywhere. All right, we got to try this one more time. I want to hit the bomb and watch the bombs impact on the building Not just the whole fact that it lands and blows it up that way So let's go ahead and reset this real quick Okay, let's get on the back side. I need to watch where the bomb drops and we're gonna detonate it right before it falls all the way down So here There we go. Uh oh Whoa That what is up with the tops of the towers? It just split the towers in two. Okay, so you got the big explosion down here. All the pieces, and then you have the two tops of the tower. All right, let's go full speed. Oh, they're hitting, they hit the skybox, I think. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh oh 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 Really surprised the game didn't crash there. And apparently there's still one piece left somewhere. Eh. I guess if we got it done really quick here, we can if we can find that one piece. Would we would set a new record? Uh, is it this? No, oh, where's the piece at? Come on, throw it around. Do it, do it, do it. No, is it this piece? Ah, uh, there's oh there it is. Hey, that's a new record. Thirteen seconds. <laughs> that is amazing. All right, well I guess we're gonna go ahead and move on to another item because we've done about all we could do there. All right, now as far as another item you guys requested, which by the way, if you want to see another item get destroyed, go ahead and comment below which one you want to see and I'll try to get around to it. Uh, I saw the antique car uh, be on that list, so let's check this thing out. Now, I was making a mistake here. I know you can actually control this stuff, and apparently that's what this thing over here is. Oh. Okay. That uh, sounds odd. It kind of looks a little bit like a old Model T. Uh, does it have an interior? Oh, there's a little engine there. Okay, what's uh, what's on the inside here? So technically, I guess we can actually try to screw this thing apart, but the first thing I want to do, I want to crash it against this uh, magnificent skybox here. So let's go ahead, speed it up. High speed crash time. Oh, that wasn't high speed. Oh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> sounds like something's leaking there. Okay, well, I've never actually seen something catch on fire in the game. That's a thing. Let's go ahead. Let's uh, reset that real quick and try to hold on to the throttle this time. So it's got a total of 52 parts. So in theory, this should actually explode fairly quick. So let's go here. There we go. There we go. Boom! Huh. Didn't quite have the impact. It's not a very fast vehicle, so obviously that's a, that's a thing. Alright, so we can't do it that way, or at least I don't want to do it with the crashing part. We should have crashed the Titanic last episode. Wish I would have known actually how to work this beforehand. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's just take this thing apart real quick and see what happens. So we got this little doohickey there. We got this little doohickey over here. Actually, that probably needs to be unscrewed. Oh, there we go. Oh! Uh oh! Oh! Okay. Probably want to do those last, actually. Hmm, let's see, we got a door here. They're like a little latch. I know we can open it. Can we, can we, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, there's gotta be some like screws there or something. Is there a screw? Is there a, is there a screw? Is there a latch in here? It's like the outside of the latch. What about this part? Is this a, that's not a thing. All right, well, let's just go ahead and open this up real quick. Come on, there we go. All right, so that comes off. Uh, that comes off. Oh, 
We actually made a dent in the fender, so you can actually... Oh, oh that's a piece, too. I need to keep that in mind. There's a little glass piece right there. Can we break that glass? Oh, yep, that's a thing. All right. Hmm. I didn't think about actually trying to crank this thing up with a little hand crank here. Eh. Oh, it's not how that works. All right, let's just chunk that to the side. Ignore that. All right, take this part off here. Take the radiator. Does the cap come off? That I can picture that being a part that they want to actually... No, okay, the cap doesn't come off. Uh, here's the engine here. Fan. Eh, oh. Fan spins. Oh, there it goes. So, yeah, if you spin stuff enough, it actually flies off. That's amazing. Okay. Let's go over here. Take the little light off. It's probably got a lens in it. Eh. Can we break it that way? Hey, we're just bending the fender. All right. Let's just chunk that up there. They hit the ground. Okay. There's bound to be a lens in that one. Yep. Could have swore there was one more that we took off. How do we rip? Oh. That's how you rip a fender off. I was like, how do you rip this off? You just pull on it. Kind of like everything else. Now, certain things do have, like, screws that you can take off. I think this is a battery box. Let's see. Can I do anything else with that? Uh, guess not. Okay. So, we got that. Hit this top part. Come on. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Uh, let's keep pulling. Yep. Oh, pull. Nope. That's two pieces there. Get. <laughs> oh, just smashed the window. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, oh did that break? Uh, sometimes the camera gets... That's like my one small complaint about the game is sometimes the camera. Uh, you use the left mouse button to click down and pull stuff away. But if it doesn't quite... Oh. Huh? Okay. Well, if it doesn't quite catch it, like it'll actually make the camera go a little nutty. So if you see like some jarring camera angles, I, I do apologize about that. Uh, that appears to be the steering shaft or rod, whatever you want to call it. Hmm, that doesn't come off yet. So let's go ahead and go over to this side. Let's rip this crud off and get that off over here. All right, let's yank on the fender. There we go. Fender's off. A uh, little... How would you like to set in that little seat back there? That's uh, actually kind of terrible. Uh, okay. Oh, is that one piece? Uh, I'm assuming that's maybe the fuel tank? I don't know. All right. So, uh, license plate comes off. Oh, got to remember the little lenses here. That's going to be a pain in the rear end if I don't take those off. There we go. There we go. Oops, and okay, let's go ahead and go. Oh, uh oh, oops, oops, okay. I don't think that's supposed to happen when you take off the wheel, but that's a thing. Oh, okay, this thing's actually quite light. <laughs> Come on, get the fender off of here. There we go, yes. All right, so that's taken off. Uh, let's blow out the back window. Come on. Oh, that was easy. All right, I know we already blew out the front window. We're down to 24 parts here. We'll start working on the interior here in a second. Let's go ahead. Let's get this off. Now, does the... Does the actual... Okay, yeah. The, no, does that come out? The rim? Uh, I don't know. It feels like it is a selectable part. That's what... Oh, okay. It does come off. Okay, I need to be sure to take all those off, too. Because uh, apparently that's a thing, so... Come on. Oh, there that goes. Okay, so... We're getting down to the nitty-gritty here. I kind of want to... How does this door... Oh, well, they just answered that question again. I was yanking on that door earlier, and it didn't come off like that. So, I really need to move this vehicle here. Let's, uh... Let's try to pick it up. Oh, what if we picked it up and dropped it? That's a thing. Let's move it over here. That way I can separate it from the rest of the parts, and... Oh! Alright. Can we set it up? Because I would like to be able... To... Ah, crud. That came off. Okay. Uh, let's get down here real quick. All right, seat goes bloop, and the door goes bloop. There we go. All right, 12 parts left. Is there 12 parts on this? I think there is. Let's see if we can yank off the steering wheel. It should loosen the, maybe the steering shaft. Okay, this, this turns, but I want this to come off. Yeah, keep, keep on moving it. Come on, there it goes. Yep, if you move it enough, it comes off. Okay, so this should slide out now. Oh, sound like a sword. So you got that, uh, we got the windshield here, probably moves around, there we go. Uh, there's like a little clip or something in here, what's this, is this just the, oh. Okay, uh, that's a thing, there's two little pieces in there, did those, uh, did those come out? Like this little piece here, nope, okay, that's one whole piece. Wow, we've basically disassembled this car completely, come on, there's that, there's that. Six parts to go here, does the, can make the bottom come off? This looks like about three parts here. Okay, something's missing. There's that. 
Uh, here comes this. Oh, can I get this off? There we go. And this is technically one whole piece. Oh, crud, there's four parts left. Did I miss some glass? I don't think I did. Did I miss anything in here? No, this is the worst part when you get stuck in a, a little situation like this trying to figure out what the heck you missed. I know somebody's probably watching and I got really observant audience members and somebody's like, man, I can't believe you missed that part. Does the handles come off? No, that's not a thing. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I found two of the pieces here. In the uh, fender, the little step comes out. There should be another one, right? Is this one already loose? There we go. Okay, we're down to two parts. Two more parts to go. Is there anything left on the fender here? I feel like I should shake some stuff around because that seems to be a, a very, very good method at trying to figure out exactly what you have left. The only problem I see with that is the whole fact of uh, there's not much left here in the first place. Do these come off the uh, top? No? Oh, <gasps> they do! Yes, this is it. This is it, folks. There we go. Yeah! Got it. Uh, that took about eight minutes. That wasn't too bad. But now we have the trusty bomb, so we're gonna bomb the vehicle here. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, let's hope this doesn't work like the last one. Let's go and drop the bomb. Oh! <laughs> Just made like a little ting into it. Can we, uh, we can manipulate this bomb, I believe. Yeah, we can move this. Uh, we're gonna... Come on, camera. We're gonna stick this in the car. So, about right. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Yay, the bomb is in the seat. Alright, here we go. Let's get a good view, and... Boom! That might have been the perfect spot. Wait, we're down to one part. Uh, that might change, though. Oh, that is so glorious. I love explosions. It's like the best thing ever. Alright, speed up time real quick, see if the part loosens itself. Uh, wait, what? How does that- <laughs> Wait, why is that in there? That doesn't make sense, huh? Separate yourself. Separate you, you from that. Uh, uh, wait, why is the seat not- Come on, there we go. That wasn't a bad score, that was actually kind of cool looking. Uh, one more thing I want to do with this, we're not going to necessarily take it all apart again. I want to drive it into the bomb. Like, I want to see if we can carry some uh, forward momentum here. So if the car's moving forward and then the bomb goes off on it, if it's got enough speed, I want to see which way it actually carries it. I mean, it seems from a physics standpoint, the game's actually fairly realistic. At least it feels like it. I'm not anybody that's actually really big on physics, but just from a visual standpoint, this looks really, really good. So let's do that. There we go. All right, so it, it just pushes it back. Yeah, I don't think we were going fast enough for that to work the way I wanted it to, but... Nonetheless, you guys still got another explosion here. That is too cool. Alright, speed it up. Still amazing that it always ends up with one part left, and... From the looks of it, it almost looks like it's just the bottom piece. It's like, for some reason, that's not counting. Anyways, that's pretty good. Uh, not bad at all. And 30 seconds. Well, we're going to do one more object here, and then we are going to wrap this episode up. Alright, we're going to do a small item here. Well, I say it's small, but most likely this is probably pretty complicated. So we're going to do the tablet here. And Oh, is that really as big as it looks like it is? <laughs> Alright, so this looks like kind of one of those uh, pretty generic looking tablets. Does the tablet work? Can I like touch the screen? Is that a thing? Up. Oh. Well, oh. Okay, well that popped open much easier than I thought it would. Yeah, this is only 20 parts, so this should be a fairly quick one. But I kind of didn't want to pop that open like that. Uh, what's this? Uh, that looks like a connector. Um, so you got the tablet screen. All right, so you got like the battery, the boards under here. Uh, is there like a little SIM card spot, possibly? Okay, let's just, can I move this whole thing? Let's just pop that out. Uh, let's go ahead, I guess we're gonna do the top part first. So, can we remove chips and stuff, or is that one whole piece? Okay, that's one whole piece. Oh, here's the SD card. Okay. Hey, there we go. Alright, pull the SD card out. This is so neat. Uh, let's unplug that, whatever that doohickey is. Uh, let's go ahead, take this off the battery. Should the battery slide out now? Okay, battery slides out. This looks so realistic as far as the actual parts. I almost kind of want to look up some of these brands on here. Alright, so let's do that. Uh, can we take the wires out? Do those come out yet? Or are those even a part that I can select here? This board looks like it's about ready to come out, except for maybe these wires right here. Or... 
Possibly not. Oh, actually, is this a connector over here? No? Come on, board. Oh, there's a screw right there. Okay, I see that. Okay. That must be what's holding this board down. Screw that one and screw that one. Uh, there's a screw on the end here. Yeah, those screws kind of blend in with the board, so it's hard to see. Oh, there goes the board. Okay. Anything else on that? What about all these little ports and stuff? Can I... Can I shear these off? No. Yeah, only seven more parts to go. This looks like some sort of... I don't know, cushion. Oh, that's the actual screen itself. Can we break that? No, break the screen. Guess not. Alright, so we got that. I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure we're done with this part here. So we only got six more parts to go. Now, this is gonna be a really quick one. I don't even know if this is gonna look good when it blows up. Uh, but it's something that we can do and get done with. Uh, there we go. Alright, three parts left. Oh boy. What's three parts are they? Is it something on the back of the case here? Um, looking. Is there a hole somewhere? Maybe something pops out. That probably pops out right there. That's, uh, is that, yeah, that thing? Yep, that, that pops out. Okay. There's that. Huh. Two parts. Two parts to go here, and I'm not really quite sure. Is it like a headphone jack somewhere, or was that already open on? Oh, this is a there's something. Okay, one part should be. Uh, or apparently not. Never mind. Uh, hmm. It's going to take me a second. We might have to do the shake test and see if we can get this to pop off. Is there like a power button? Is that a thing on here? Or did we already take that off? Figured that would be a thing. Or maybe the screen pops out somehow. I hate it when you're moving so fast and then all of a sudden you're at a standstill because you got two parts that you can't find. And, ah oh boy, what are they? What are the parts? No, this, this is ridiculous. There's two parts still left on this and I can't find them. Oh, I feel like these two parts are mocking me. Shake this thing all around. Maybe we'll hit something here. Hit on something. Come on. Come on. Actually, what's this? Are these just where the screws were? Uh, there's still screws in there. Now those little pegs look to be solid. Dang it. All right, I think I know where the part is. Something on this actual screen itself, I can select. It turns up. Oh, here we go. Are you kidding me? Is it really that? That's ridiculous. I could have swore I shook that thing around trying to find it. Clicked all over it. That took an unnecessary amount of time. All right. You know what? This will make me feel all better now. Let's go ahead and bomb this. Bomb the... Oh, we broke the screen. Oops. Boom. Yeah. Say goodbye to the tablet. Bye, tablet. Uh, speed this up. There we go. Yep, all parts are gone now. That ought to be a new record. <laughs> but anyways, that's probably going to about wrap it up for this episode of Disassembly 3D. If you want to see more of this on the channel, comment below. Hit that thumbs up button and let me know. Also, comment which items you want to see me take apart next because uh, I'm having quite a bit of fun with this game. It's surprisingly addictive. So anyways, hope you guys have a great day and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.